say who you are. My name's Megan Bernard. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I am 26, about to be 27 years old. And I'm out here shooting. I'm so excited. So, so what do you do? Where do you work? Well, I am a print and commercial model. I am a performance fitness coach and also a Hooters girl. Yeah, so how do you, how do you like that? How do you like working in the restaurant industry? I love it. I'm a people person. I make friends easily. If you left me next to a wall long enough, I'd probably talk to it. Um, no, but as far as the restaurant industry, I guess it can be difficult because I don't think people understand that. Um, you know, we do get paid off of tips and not necessarily an uh, hourly wage. Um, but besides that, I meet people from all different types, you know, from around the world. Um, networking is absolutely priceless. And I love befriending individuals, so I love it. It's right up my alley. Cool. So where are we right now? Well, it's funny because we're right across the street from my building. We're at the bar next door. Uh, it's called the A Ball. We're having a little cocktail right after a successful yeah. shoot. Um, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Pinot Grigio. Pinot Grigio? It's wine, sangria, and tequila. That's he my three things. Heavyweight, right? <laughs> Really, there's tequila in there? I didn't know. I, I didn't love know. tequila. Okay. It has a special place in my heart. It makes my soul happy. Um, if I could get sponsored by a tequila company, I would be so grateful. <laughs> yeah. I found, well, let's see. I, um, I had a very young mother growing up, mother and father. I grew up in kind of a, you know, a difficult process. I was kind of raised by my grandparents and uh, moved away through a divorce, especially after Katrina or whatnot, and came back down from being a prom queen my junior year to a school my senior year that I didn't know anyone. So, uh, it also, I grew up very poor and went to a school that was, you know, a lot of rich folks. So, it's a difficult process, but I'm one to learn how to adapt to the situation and I think that it's made me the person I am. So, once I got through high school, I pursued Hooters and print commercial modeling and became very successful at it. Um, currently, now do a training as well as still at the Hooters and also, um, just live in life. So you want some competition too, right? I love competition. Yeah. And I definitely have had a few winners under my belt. Yeah. I, um, well, I did make top 10, but I did make uh, top 100 for the Max and Hometown Hotties, as well as I did uh, win competition with American Honeys, which was uh, processed through Wild Turkey that started out with thousands of contestants and went down to the top 12 and I was one of the top 12 so we had a year of fulfilled events. Uh, I've also done plenty of Hooters competitions and became very successful as well as made the 2010 calendar which was awesome and I'm still competing you know. I love what I do and modeling is giving me so much opportunity so I continue to What's your nationality? Oh man, a full blown white girl. Now, I, uh, I have a little Italian, I have a little Indian in my background. Indian, huh? Yeah, my great grandmother's mother was Indian, so. Alright, okay. good moment. You ready? You so excited? I hope so. What do you call a guy with a rubber toe? Oh no. Roberto! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I have some dirty ones, some clean oh, ones, yeah? some fun ones, okay. some corny ones. What's another one? Um, you see, this is all my material right here. Oh, yeah? Don't get too close because I don't Cheating. Really know it. <laughs> um, why the octopus, oh, how did the octopus go to war? How? Well armed. <laughs> oh, okay, now I know. That's clever, that one, right? That good. Okay, that okay. Yeah. So, so, how's this modeling going for you? What do you, what's your plans with it? You know, I'm very blessed to have a great, you know, a successful, blessed career. Um, I would love to do Sports Illustrated one day. I would love to team up with a swimsuit company. I would love to team up with a supplement company. I'm very much into fitness. Um, man, if I could do Sports Illustrated, if I could do um, work with a huge brand such as Adidas, like running, because I love to run, something like that, I would pursue it 100%. And obviously, I'm, I'm so... People don't realize how much um, how much work goes into making a successful business. So even these up and comer entrepreneurs, which social media has given so much leeway as well as um, you know just just the opportunity to us, yeah, right. those people that possibly wouldn't get it without them. So I support people that support those. So anybody that comes at me with a great attitude as well as opportunity, I would pursue it.
So I'm completely open. Right now, I mean, my career is still going. Cool. Wow. Yeah. And so I, I heard that you, you like to drink, right? You're here in New Orleans, and this is a party town. And it is. Party city. It or not, I love to drink. Um, yeah. It's one bad thing. So sometimes I, you know, I leave the dessert away just so I can have a cocktail. And like I told you guys earlier, I love tequila. tequila. <laughs> what, what other type of tequila drinks? Is it just straight up tequila? It's straight up tequila. You know, there's something called Don Julio 1942 that you just sip on and enjoy. It's so good. Um, also, Patron is so popular nowadays that I'll definitely have a shot of Patron. Or even a sangria. I know it's wine, but I love a, a sangria and a shot of wine. <laughs> I mean, a shot of tequila. <laughs> now, working at, at Hooters, are you just a, a server or are you, are you a hostess or what, what, what's your role there? I mean, I'm definitely a server, but I believe that I'm more than that. I'm a Hooters girl. And behind a Hooters girl is hospitality. You make everybody know it's a, it's a fun, family-oriented restaurant. We enjoy our customers. We have fun with them. Kids, kids especially. I love when kids come in just and having a good time. I actually just recently had a family come in and the boy is now eight years old. He hosted his birthday there and every year since he's been one, he's had a picture taken with all the Hooters girls. That's and cool. I happen to be in the last two and that made me feel so good. So uh, I definitely have my fair share of regulars, people that have come in and visit me. Also people that have seen me in calendars that have come through the restaurant. And that makes me feel special knowing that I'm doing my job right. So how can we see you in these calendars? Is it only at your restaurant or is it No, not? they are sold throughout the country and that was in 2010 but I recently submitted for the 2017 calendar so fingers crossed, let's say a prayer that I make it. I'm sure you will. So is it hard to become a Hooters girl? I don't think so. I think you have to have the great attitude. Um, more than personal appearance, I mean you need to upkeep yourself for sure. Yeah. but. You have to have a great attitude about it. You can't just be, um, you know, a regular lame that thinks your, you know, your looks are gonna get you everywhere in life. You have to have a personality, a who's girl personality behind it. Somebody that's fun, outgoing, and willing to talk to anyone. Okay. So how do you maintain your looks? How do I maintain? I take care of myself. I truly believe we have one mind, one body. You gotta take care of both. I love to work out. I run every morning, um, which I run right around this area, and I can't say, you know, hi to. I mean, I can't stop from saying hi to every other person on the block. Also, I love to lift weights. Um, yeah. Kickboxing. Kickboxing has been my forte for several years now. And I absolutely adore it. So you're a badass, huh? Pretty much. I mean, yeah. bring it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. I had to behave myself at the shoot. So you <laughs> no, I definitely, um, you know, I, I truly believe I feed my body well. I take care of myself. and. Um, I'm a completely natural girl, so cool. every day I moisturize, take care, you know, shower, do the whole nonchalant, but I also spend a lot of time in the gym. Okay. If you weren't modeling or working at Hooters or being in a restaurant industry, what would you want to do? What would I want to do? Um, good question. I mean, I'm a salesman. I definitely could see myself in sales. Also, one thing I've always thought about is as a, so a social worker. Um, I love people, I love helping people, I love giving advice and just listening to other people's stories because a lot of people don't realize just listening to someone could go a long ways. But also I don't know if I could take myself from the job to the home place. So I think that's what has stopped me. Okay. So, and I hear you're a big Saints fan. Who that baby? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I'm 100% man. Ever since we won that Super Bowl, I was actually to be so fortunate enough to be in that crowd during the Super Bowl. and. Um, even before that, when people were still wearing bags over their head. I mean, I've been a Saints fan my whole life, and I will continue to support my team. Okay. Who's your favorite player? Ooh, great question. Um, I love Cam Jordan, obviously Drew Brees, um, and Jonathan Jenkins, great players. Okay. Yeah. So I hear you might <laughs> want a career in maybe as a sports agent? Oh my, I would love that. And it's not just football I adore. I I 100% with, as a former athlete, I realize how much yeah. talent it takes behind being a successful athlete. And that's what a lot of people, especially supporters and fans, don't realize. Like, it definitely, it takes a lot of work behind the camera, behind the games, um, to get on the field and do what they do. I would love to be a sports agent, see what really goes into the whole game. Uh, I, I mean, I would love to learn. You think you get scout talent? Oh, from a mile away. <laughs> No, for sure. There's some, you know, hidden diamonds in there, but I think talent speaks for itself yeah. a lot of times. I hear you want to be a linebacker, like hitting people. I would love. Could I? I mean, I just, not to hurt anybody.
anybody because I wouldn't want to hurt someone, but yeah. I would love to just tackle somebody down to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's this big deal about Mardi Gras here in the French Quarter? Yeah, and everything? Mardi Gras, it's so much fun. Uh, and the funny thing is, usually the locals that are getting this trouble. Everybody thinks that New Orleanians are showing their titties. No, 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 no. It's usually, I'm not going to say not don't, but it's usually the tourists that uh, are showing the titties for the beats. <laughs> You've never, you never flash it for beats? No, 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 no. Honestly, I don't even like the beats. I think they're dirty. And I hate to say that because there are some really cute ones and there are definitely some I've bought for myself just to have. But uh, no, these little plastic beats are not worth it. <laughs> my wild <laughs> or somebody yeah. else's I think it's just the, the the idea of trying to collect them all right yeah and there's some people that walk around and it's so cool to watch um, I love people coming to the city for the first time especially people from out of the country and being here for almost seven years now I've gotten to witness just the live action and there's individuals that are having so much fun in the, the time of their lives and then there's the other side of it that people are passed out and the ambulance are coming and I mean there's definitely a dirty version of it and there's also a side of um, I mean, you get put in that jail because Mardi Gras goes. People don't realize this. Mardi Gras for Mardi Gras goes for literally a month, and probably up until the last two weeks of it, which ends on a Fat Tuesday, um, which always changes depending on Easter. But it, uh, I mean, it's a full two weeks of just nonstop. And then the last Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday are like go all out, and people are going all out. <laughs> So, so when there's no Mardi Gras or anything, what's going on in the French Quarter or something? Like now, what would what would be going on now, if anything? If it was Mardi Gras? Or, or now, like, is there anything? Well, that... currently, we just had uh, French Quarter Fest, which is a huge festival right on the river walk. Um, they had 22 live bands, I think, in stages, which was completely awesome. It's free to the community. You have uh, a beater sponsoring it. You have Make Ultra. I mean, you have so many companies out there sponsoring it, as well as they put a lot of these restaurants that are very uh, familiar and popular in the city out there and they have these little booths and go and have some food but also this upcoming next two weekends we have Jazz Fest and there's several big name artists that are coming to town and also little artists that don't get recognized much often but they throw them up on a big stage and we all go and party and have some fun good food good drinks good people live music what's good do you like jazz I love it. I love jazz. I'm really, really also into the Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I'm looking forward to seeing this weekend. Do you sing? Can you sing? Only in the shower. Oh, yeah? I can sing in the shower and I can also do the moonwalk. How about right now? Can yeah. it, it's, it rained a little bit, so that's sort of like a oh, shower. Not really. <laughs> um, no. Work, 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 work. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's not even one of the performers. It's like hip hop, right? So yeah. <laughs> Well, you definitely work, 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 work. I do. I'm a hustler. Schedule. I love it, though. Yeah. I love to work. I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know. <laughs> yeah, well, you definitely have the drive, you know, to succeed in anything that you try to do. So, definitely see that. Much appreciated, and I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to come and shoot and have a drink with me and just see the city. It's been awesome. Uh -huh. uh, I also think they have a lot going on, and I'm looking forward to what comes out of this. So what do you like about oysters? Oh, the butter. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I love raw oysters, but I also think charcoal oysters are absolutely amazing. Mix them, but what happened? It's turned us out. Why am I scared? Okay, what is this? You want to do this one at a time, or are we gonna do? No, the... we're doing this at the same right. day. Oyster shooter down the house. Oh yeah. Do you 
Yeah. Yeah. 